Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you eight side jobs from home that pay you via PayPal, meaning you usually get paid pretty quickly and of course it's very easy to withdraw your money because it goes straight to your PayPal account. So from there of course you can use it for purchases and deposit it directly into your bank account. So a lot of these jobs are like side jobs because they're not full time. They're things you would do probably outside of your main occupation, whether you have your own business, whether you have your own um, full time 40 hour per week job. So these are very easy and you can do them all from home on a website. The first one is Click Worker and they pay for small data entry type stuff. They pay you via PayPal um, pretty much weekly and you can go to clickworker.com you can see how to spell it there and they offer a lot of different things so when it comes to data entry typically you'll be working with uh, spreadsheets, you'll be doing um, web research, you know you might do some word documents, tagging. They, you know, they mention a lot of the things that they do here just by going through their website. But um, you can go and look at their solutions to see what they do. Or if you want to just go ahead and try to sign up as a click worker, make sure you're on the right country. They have the US and Germany, and then click for click worker which will allow you to sign up and start using it. So you'll be doing things, as you can see, like categorizing stuff, web research, proofreading, creating text forms, and stuff like that. As a side note, for these types of jobs, you're going to want to be familiar with a couple of different programs. Usually, data entry involves one of two things. Office by Microsoft, which includes Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, and things like that. Another one is Google Drive, which also contains pretty much the same stuff, just with different names. Um, you have Google Slides, Google Docs, Google um, Sheets, and stuff like that. So you might want to be familiar with those two platforms if you want to do more data entry stuff in the future. Next is OneSpace. It is another type of place where you do small jobs, including data entry, writing, research, and stuff like that. They pay you via PayPal, which can take you know a few days, but shouldn't be any longer than a week when you get paid. So when you work here, you just basically sign up with your email and password or via LinkedIn, Amazon account, things like that. Um, if you want to go to their home page, well, this is pretty much it. But um, you just kind of sign up and then you get work for, like I said, data entry, writing, research, and stuff like that. Um, so you can sign up here via LinkedIn or whatever account you want to sign up with, PayPal, Amazon, and they'll pay you via PayPal to do that type of work. So like I said, be familiar with spreadsheets, be familiar with Word documents and stuff like that, basic internet tools, and you should do just fine. That's at onespace.com, and the sign up is work.onespace.com. Next is Crowdflower, and they are a kind of crowdsourcing website where you do even more data entry, odd jobs, um, stuff like that. You get paid weekly via PayPal, and you have like a daily checklist of tasks that you do. So you would be a contributor. You can go through and see some testimonials, ask some questions get some answers about what this might mean for you but you're basically like an independent contractor who works from home 
to get different tasks done in your checklist and then they pay you via PayPal for those things. So pretty much, you know, these first three jobs I've mentioned, they're doing a lot of the same stuff, um, spreadsheets, regular data entry type of work. And then there's also SigTrack, which also pays you via PayPal weekly and um, your earnings get split with accuracy verifiers. So you earn as an independent contractor. So for pretty much all of these, you're going to have to do your own taxes and stuff like that and keep track of that yourself as far as if you make quite a bit of money. Um, and you need to specifically have experience with spreadsheets and word processing and stuff like that as well as be a United States citizen to work with SigTrack. Their website is SigTrack.net. Um, you need to be you need to have voter data and stuff like that. It has the system requirements here, Windows 7 or better, uh, or Mac OS 10.11 or better. You need to have dual monitors and 20 MB internet speed. So that's pretty much it. How do I start? You can click there. How do you get paid? So you can go through all of that stuff. It tells you right there, you get paid via PayPal. How do you start? You just click the getting start thing. You might have a Skype interview to prove your identity and US residency, but that only takes like three minutes. So as far as data entry, that's about it. The next type of category we have here is call center type work. So one is call center QA you can go to callcenterqa.org and sign up there under employment, which I'll have a link to all these for you in the show notes. But um, you're basically a mystery shopper. You make phone calls to companies and ask various questions. And then they pay you $5 per call. And then there's an after call survey. So you get paid via PayPal within seven business days of doing this stuff so like I said you're basically calling businesses as a mystery shopper asking them specific questions that they provide and that's pretty much the sum of the job you can read through the rest of this here if you want you know but um, if you don't think five dollars sounds like much per call these calls shouldn't take very long they might take you five or ten minutes each so you can get paid fairly well if you do that by the hour and you do the math there. If you want to do this type of work and you want to even try some other websites, I recommend you get a wired headset. Um, if you want to even transition into things like customer support and stuff like that, you want to have a wired headset that plugs directly into your PC that has a good microphone and uh, maybe even some noise canceling like this one has noise canceling some of these don't just kind of depends on your work environment and what companies you're working for um, require from you but a lot of these will cost you only $15 or $20 for a decent headset that would meet the requirements of most of these types of companies so just keep that in mind you might you might need something like that for call center and customer support work if you're trying to work from home next is needle and if you go to uh, pincushion.needle.com you can apply to work for them and they provide customers uh, live chat to help them find the right products and you know with their transactions and stuff like that so you get paid about ten dollars per hour and your pay arrives every monday via paypal so pretty good pay considering you're working from home um a lot of work from home jobs wouldn't pay that much but needle pays you pretty well like i said pincushion.needle.com is where you can sign up you apply you create your account tell tell them a little about yourself it might take you 10 to 15 minutes they approve you if it, if you seem like a solid person that can work for them. And then you start earning via PayPal by chatting online with customers. So a lot of times you'll be doing that online chat, you know, when you have the little 
uh, speech bubble pop up in the right hand corner you know it'll be like a little square and it'll say like hi my name is Joe and I would like to talk to you you know you got a little guy's picture and then they have like a preset question and then you reply to them with your profile and stuff like that so that's basically what you're doing you're basically like texting back and back and forth uh, in a way that is customer support. Next is Vocal Labs. And Vocal Labs is a survey administrator that um, they offer very flexible schedules. You basically uh, call customers who have bought something uh, from a client of theirs and you ask them questions about their experiences so that they can improve the products and support for the future so you're asking them different questions that they provide for you and you're talking to them on the phone like I said you might want to have a good headset for that they'll probably require that and then you basically ask them you know how they like the product how did they get it as far as shipping was it well packed was the customer support good do you feel like uh, you know the return policy is good and stuff like that? So you get paid two dollars fifty cents per survey, and each one takes about five minutes. So you can work out the per hour rate right there, which is pretty decent considering you're working from home as well, just doing you know um, you know entry level type work from home, and it pays weekly via PayPal. So get paid fairly quickly every week like a job would and you get paid via PayPal and you need to have fluent English excellent telephone voice and customer pleasing attitude you know obviously you generally need to be good with people and patient with them if you're gonna do anything like this and you need to work in live in the US things like that and uh, you can work full or part-time so the great thing about this is you can actually replace a full-time job with it eventually if you uh, you know go about it the right way and you prove yourself and um, can get the consistent hours so that's vocal labs you can go to their website at vocalabs.com I'll have a link directly to the um, survey administrator job page for you in the show notes Next is Babel type, and this is a different type of job. This is for transcription type stuff, um, which basically means you're turning something like an interview or a podcast or a YouTube video or something like that, you're turning it into text. So there's quite a few companies out there now that have a lot of transcription work because there really just isn't a good enough software or computer program that can do this yet, especially adding punctuation and proper capitalization and stuff like that. So Babel Type pays you via PayPal weekly to do transcription work. You also can do proofreading and translation. So if you're multilingual, say you know English and Spanish very well, you could do some translator work for Babel type. You could also do proofreading um, and get paid via PayPal all from their website. It's at babeltype.com. And of course, I'll have a link to the page where you apply. You just click the apply now button. You want to go through here and make sure that you know what they're looking for as far as schedule. If you can only work certain hours, you can kind of uh, let them know. You can work pretty much whatever days and hours that you choose and make it fit around your schedule. As far as transcription work, there's a few things to keep in mind. One, you need to have a good word per minute typing speed. Uh, I recommend typingtest.com. You can type a, a lot of different things here in a lot of different languages. Uh, you can take different uh, test links to get a more accurate representation of your typing speed. A lot of times they'll ask for like 40, 50, maybe 60 
uh, word per minute as far as typing speed. Also, you want to have good grammar, and it helps to have a free tool that will point out when something needs to be um, spelled differently or to take out certain punctuation and stuff like that. I recommend Grammarly. It's free. You can add it to Chrome or whatever browser you have, and it will correct a lot of the errors for you as you're trying to type quickly and transcribe audio. So that's it for this video. If you felt like this was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or maybe you want to suggest something that I cover in the future on this channel, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback. And of course, like I mentioned, I'll have links to all of these um, resources and application pages on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com. And you can find a link to that page also in the video description. So other than that, I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next one.